What's going on, family? How you guys doing? This is Larry. I want to talk to you briefly about a touchy topic, guys. Hey, today I'm going to talk about infidelity. And if infidelity cheating is not anything you want to discuss or you haven't dealt with, it's not anything you care about, I suggest you go ahead and leave the broadcast right now. So, listen. The problem with infidelity is not the fact that you choose to cheat or someone choose to cheat on you. The problem with it is it's a complete waste of time. Because if you think about it, it's easier just to stay single. There's no need to get in all this messiness because you want to have sex or you want to just have some adventure in your life. I mean, when you really think about it, just think about it. How fruitless it is. And I can tell you something if you're a cheater. Most of cheaters, I can tell you guys, cheat because it's exciting it's something like like it's covert ops and listen to me listen to me if you don't want to be in a um committed relationship with somebody you should just leave man and just let them know look i am going to move on without hurting you without passing you any kind of disease without because your reckless lifestyle shouldn't impact anybody else. And if you knowing going into this marriage or going into this relationship that this is not anything that you truly, truly, truly want to do, it's easy just to say no in the beginning. I don't want to be married. And I can tell you something from personal experience. Listen, cheating gets messy. I mean, it does. It's a messy situation because people get reckless and it's not just about sex. It's the excitement. And since it's about the excitement, people tend to push the excitement to the line. I mean, for real, I got a story to tell you. The year was like 1999, 2000. I'm in Chattanooga, Tennessee, living there, doing my thing, whatever. Meet an individual, stay down the street from me. I met her through whatever situation I met her through. And she was actually with a guy, all right? Now, I mean, I didn't have a problem with this particular dude. He was cool with me, you know, but some way she got my number. She asked me for my number and I gave it to her. Now, at the time I was into all kinds of different things and people would call me because I was selling drugs. So people needed my number. I sold weed, I sold cocaine. I thought maybe, you know, maybe she wanted that, I guess. But as time went on, she started texting me. I mean, not texting me, but paging me. We had pagers then in the middle of the night while her old man was at work. Her husband, boyfriend was at work. And I responded because it was fun at first. It was exciting. We never did anything physically. We just talked and we kicked it. Maybe she was lonely. I don't know. They say men cheat for one reason and women cheat for another. But maybe she was lonely. But long story short, my pager went off early one morning. Guy answered the phone. Who is this? Boom. I'm, I'm confused. It's early in the morning. I didn't even realize it was her number. I just returned the call because at the time I was selling drugs and people would call me from over there at their house. That's how we eventually played it off. Next thing you know, big man at my door. It's about a 6'4 individual standing at my door. Come on outside. Come on outside. It's raining. He's standing out there with no shirt on, some boots, and some cut off blue jeans. I'm going to deal with everybody that got something to do with that. I'm like, fam, I'm 5'9", maybe 127 pounds, soaking wet. One, I'd be a fool to come outside. Two, why would I even be out here tussling with you? I know people tend to understand. Think size don't mean anything. It do when you 5'9 and 127 pounds fighting a big 6'4 dude who probably about 250. <laughs> yeah, go out there with yourself and see. If you don't know any kind of Taekwondo martial arts skills or anything, you out there on a limb, buddy. So, no, I'm not coming out here, big man. Look, man, I said I'm not coming outside. No, nah, man. Go on about your business, big man. And this is what I can do. All right? Eventually, I told him, look, guy, I'm armed. Please leave my property. Leave my yard now. He had a few words to say, left. We eventually brushed it over and made it look like it was somebody else who had left my number over there. But it really was her number. And I think she left the number out because she just was wanting to make him jealous. Pay attention to me. That's what she was saying to him. Got me caught all up into it. All because she wanted some attention from her husband. Somebody could have turned up dead, somebody could have whatever, but it was all messy. Today, I want to tell you guys something. 
Listen, if you don't want to be married, if you don't want to be in a relationship, don't drag other people in your mess. Don't drag other people down with you because you got some people out here that really want to settle down and really want to be with one person. And if you knowing that's not you, knowing that you're not going to do right by a person, leave these people alone and go on about your business. So one takeaway from this story is this. Number one, listen, if you don't want to be married, Stay unmarried. If you don't want to be in a relationship with one person, then don't get in a relationship with one person. It gets messy when you plan with people's feelings and emotions. Listen, 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 listen. If you love a person truly, let them go on and let them be with somebody else. Because I'm telling you, the matters of the heart will get you killed. And this goes for women and men. Society has big up the side chick and the side guy right now, making everybody think that's acceptable. And truly, that's not because you don't have to waste time and get in a relationship with somebody just to play around, just to hurt them, just to get a disease, just to break it down, to build a house, just to end up having to lose it and tear it down. Y'all have to sell it as y'all go through a divorce, all because you were never for real in the beginning. So, to all the cheaters out there, you wrong for getting married or getting in a relationship with somebody knowing that you wasn't serious about being with them, committed, and staying with them long term. Hey, man, this Larry. Again, man, you know better. You do better, family. I'm going to talk to you guys next time. Infidelity is a lose-lose. I'm going to talk to you next time. Peace.